In this video, I'm going to show you how to use concatenate when you use Visual Basics. The reason why I want to do this is a separate video because I've seen people really struggle with this concept. Now let's just go back to a normal concatenate. If I've got the word Apple, then you see the word Apple I've just typed it in. If I see the word A, or A, B, B, L, E, then if I concatenate that, I can say concatenate the A, the P, the P, the L, the E. Then I get the same. So this field and this field is the same. You can also do this. You can do take that. And this is the way one we're going to use in VBA. So that one and that and that. And then that concatenates as well. The, the principle in, in VBA that, that's actually quite important. If normally you get a result, like you get the word Apple, then you'll start like this. You say take A and B and B and L and E. Then you get the word Apple. So this principle might seem really simplistic, but in VBA it can be quite tricky to use. So let me demo that to you in VBA. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert a button here and I'm going to say record and I'm going to say OK. This button, what I want this button to do, it will select the cell and it will name the cell Excel and then it will enter. As easy as that. So let's stop this. So I right click on it, view code. So let's see what happens here. So this is the range I selected. And this is what I call it. Now what's nice about VBA, every time you see inverted commas, it means you can break this up. So, I can literally go in the middle here and I can say make this word rather X and cell. And it will do the same. Let's go test that. So I'm just going to minimize that. So let's just delete that. Press the button. It still works. So let's go view this code again. So there's also inverted commas range A2. We can do that as well. A and 2. 2 is a number. We don't need inverted commas. And it will still work. Let's test it. Okay, we just need spaces there. Okay, so if you see the yellow button, yellow, it means you're busy debugging. You can just stop that. So if we run it now, do you see it still works? Which now we can change this 3 for example and it will still work. The reason why we'd want to do that is because we want to declare variables. So let's call a variable number 4 for example and we say number 4 is equal to 5 and then what we can do is say range and number 4. So now this number is equal to the number I declared on top. So it should effectively take it to A5 now. You see there, it took it to A5. We can also say, say column 1 equals A. And then say the range is equal to column 1. Now we've got two variables declared and number 4. So we run this. And now we can change this. Let's say we want this in C6. Because now it will be column 1 is C, number 4 is 6. So we run this. And there we are. So the concatenate function is, is very important that you understand how to utilize it here and that you can break stuff up. You would get the result when you record it or, or when, you, when you got the actual code and then break that code up and just make sure you keep that principle. And you'll do it the same way we did this first one where we said where we had the word Apple and then we started and we literally broke up the different components.